Hey guys, this is Jam of JamOnline.ph and today we're gonna unbox and take a closer look on the Vivo V11. So this is the latest smartphone from Vivo and yes, it is a mid-range smartphone. It is a mid-range but it does have some pretty good specifications. It's actually, it actually has the same, almost the same specifications of the Vivo X21. So first things first, let's go to the uh, full specifications of the smartphone. So the Vivo V11 will feature a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 octa-core processor. There's 6.41 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display, 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. There's a 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual rear camera, a 25 megapixel front camera. There's LTE. There's the in-display fingerprint scanner, which is really interesting and then of course we got face unlock front touch os 4.5 with a, on android 8.1 oreo dual engine fast charging and there's a 3400 milliamps of battery yes it does have a really similar specifications to the vivo x21 we have the same processor we have the same 6 gigs of ram and we have an in display fingerprint scanner so what are we waiting for so let's unbox and let's take a closer look on the vivo V11. So what are we waiting for? So let's unbox the smartphone. So inside we got here the uh, stickers and everything. Uh, we also got here the manual along the SIM card pin or the tray pin. And of course, a free jelly case, which is common to most smartphones these days, whether that's flagship or mid -range. So we got here the Vivo V11 as you can see we got here the gradient color but we will talk about the smartphone later on so as you can see here we got here the charger so the charger is actually a fast charger so it supports dual engine fast charging it's uh, 5 volts 2 amperes or 9 volts 2 amperes which is you know fast charging we still have here the earphones that looks like uh, the same earphones that we can get on the iPhones, but uh, we do have a 3.5 mm headphone jack over here. No dongles because we have the headphone jack on the Vivo V11. And uh, of course, we got here the micro USB to USB. So let's proceed to the Vivo V11. So we have set up the Vivo V11. So as you can see here, again, we got here the Starry Night color. So as you can see here, we got here a gradient color, which is like a blue and a darkish blue at the top. I'm not sure if you can see that one, but uh, as you can see, it depends on the angle, uh, whether you can see the uh, the dust or <laughs> the starry uh, effect on the, the Vivo V11. So this one is made up of plastic, not similar to the Vivo X21. We do have here the dual lens camera, a uh, LED flash, and as you can see, this one is really handsome looking smartphone. There's no fingerprint, fingerprint scanner at the back because we do have an in-display fingerprint scanner which means that the display underneath the display we have the fingerprint scanner so as you can see here there we go it fails there we go so as you can see oh there we go okay so it's a hit and miss despite having the second generation or i'm not sure if that's the, that's second generation but we do have the x21 before so on the vivo v11 well we still have the same speed of the in-display fingerprint scanner which is, isn't that fast compared to the normal fingerprint scanner but don't worry i mean it's still a good technology a great technology that we're seeing here and the face unlock as you can see it has been upgraded so it is faster it is better on the vivo v11 uh, another thing we still have the micro usb port uh it's 2018 we're still using micro usb so you know it's kind of off to me that uh, we're still using that one and the X21 was using USB Type-C. So maybe they need to cut some cost for the manufacturing. That's why they use micro USB. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's 2018. Still micro USB. I hope that next year they would really use USB Type-C for the V series of smartphones. We do have here the headphone jack. On the left, we got here the triple SIM card. Triple card tray, sorry. Not SIM card. And then on the other side, we got here the power button and also the volume rocker so the smartphone is really really light maybe because of its uh, plastic built so as you can see it might look like glass from afar it's actually not glass it's actually plastic but uh, 
it does look great but you know you could actually feel when you hold the smartphone that you know it's plastic anyway let's talk about uh the smartphone so as you can see here we got here on uh, the halo display so why do we call it as halo because we do have a uh, little notch at the top so uh, vivo managed to uh, minimize the notch to this point similar to the oppo f9 we do have a similar look on the Oppo F9 when it comes to display, but uh, we're talking about the V11 here. And uh, the display is actually really great for a mid-range smartphone. It's really bright, it is really vivid, and it's super AMOLED. That's why the colors are really popping out of the display. We do have some minimal bezel over here. It actually uh, has a thinner display compared to the previous generation. And I actually like the design of the Vivo V11 minus the plastic back because I really like the color. I really like the design. There's no fingerprint scanner at the back, which is really clean to me. However, uh, we're still using a plastic build, but don't worry. It's still, you know, premium to look at and uh, it doesn't feel cheap despite having a plastic build. So as you can see, we have here the uh, Fun Touch OS and we actually uh, like the Fun Touch OS and we actually have an update right now and as you can see swipe down to see the notifications swipe swipe up from the below to check out the functions and other features of the smartphone and again i really like uh the display of the smartphone the software is really fast it's uh very responsive to me i really have no problems with it the v app store we have the iMusic. well there are a lot of applications that are pre-installed on the smartphone However, uh, some of you might not use it. I'm sorry for my voice. I don't do not have a voice for more than a week now. And of course, we got iManager, Vivo Cloud, uh, Notes, Tools, Kids Mode, which is uh, if you have some kids, anti-addiction, anti-eye uh, spray protection, and also practical features that uh, you know uh, it's better usage for kids. So you, they would spend less time on the smartphone and more on their life or studies or whatever. Anyway. Um, we do have uh, a lot of applications that are pre-installed on the smartphone again uh, but you can in uninstall some of them like uh, this one this is lazada i've installed antutu uh, i have to benchmark this smartphone yet and of course we got wps office and uh, facebook so uh, we're gonna check out the settings so as you can see here oh sorry uh, we do have uh, more settings about phone you do have a six gigs of ram a 660 octa core processor and uh let's see here it's running on android 8.1 based on fun touch os 4.5 anyway uh we're done with the display and the build of the smartphone let's talk about the camera so i've actually tried this smartphone during the vivo v11 launch i already have this smartphone even before the launch and as you can see here uh it's actually pretty good uh i have here a selfie with some of our friends from Vivo and DM Return from GadgetPolitinas.net and it's actually really sharp. We do have some bokeh over here as you can see and uh, this one isn't the best lighting condition that we can see on the smartphone but look at my face. It's silky smooth and it's really sharp. I like the colors of this one and uh, it's really great. Uh, the selfie camera has been really upgraded compared to the Vivo V9 and it's actually one of my favorite selfie smartphones today so this one is another selfie this one another, as you can see here another one of my face with ai as you can see here uh my well i look shiny over here anyway uh this one is chester so uh, let's check out some uh, some of the other photos uh, that are on the smartphone so this one is another selfie as you can see here uh this one is a really great bokeh uh well of course that software bokeh we're using the selfie uh, selfie camera and uh, as you can see here this one is really sharp it's not bright during that time and as you can see here we do have a uh, really good selfie photo using the vivo v11 and uh, let's check out the rear camera of the smartphone so as you can see this one is a low light shot and uh i'm actually amazed with its colors with its quality, it's like a uh, 25,000 pesos 25, smartphone. The quality of the camera is really damn good. So we're gonna take another photo of, uh, using the rear camera of the smartphone. We took another sample shots using the smartphone. As you can see here, uh, this one is a really great color and it's really sharp, especially for a mid-range smartphone. It's probably one of the best 
uh, cameras that I've seen on a mid-range smartphone at its you know price range. This one, as you can see here, you can see the details of the plant. Uh, really sharp and really good. And then of course this one. So as you can see here, we got here all of the details that we need. Really sharp, really smooth. The colors are really good, and the Super AMOLED display is really uh, vivid. And uh, again, the colors are really popping out on the Vivo V11. So yeah, I guess that's it for unboxing in the hands-on of the Vivo V11. So uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now's the time to subscribe. So once again, I am Jam Jamonline.ph. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page, Facebook group, and of course our new Instagram, JamOnlinePH. So yeah, once again, I'm Jam Jamonline.ph, and thanks for watching unboxing hands-on of the Vivo V11.